Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up Don's Caddis Pupa. Now, Caddis Pupa are pretty easy to tie, but I've got a cool trick that I'm going to show you on this fly that uh, really accentuates the rib on this pattern and makes it highly effective. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we use a size 12 curved caddis. We'll tie with some 6 aught black thread. We'll use a 7 64 inch black nickel bead for the bead, some light olive quick dub for the body, number 10 peacock orange mylar for the rib, and some peacock hurl for the thorax. So to start the fly off, I've put the bead with the small diameter hole towards the eyelet and it's on the hook. We're just going to take our thread and tie it on. Now take a piece of your mylar and this is important. You want to put it so that it's the orange side towards the hook, the green side facing you. And then tie it in along the shank of the hook all the way halfway down the hook bend because we want this pupa to really be curved. Now the ribs tied in, take a piece of your quick dub and it's on a rope so it's easy to tie in. Wrap it right back, right to halfway down the hook bend. Now we're going to take our quick dub and just wrap it forward. And as you wrap it forward, just slightly pull back on the material because this will pull this material out nicely when we uh, brush it out a little later. Now that we have the body tied in, take some hackle pliers, clip it on to your mylar and then just turn it. Keep turning, keep turning until you're forming a nice green rope for the rib. And you'll see at the very end you get a, if you do it right, stop and you get just a little bit of bronze at the very end. A bit of that orange color sticks out and that we're going to screw wrap in for the butt. Now that you have the the rib wound, we're going to take one wrap behind, right at the very butt, and that's a nice copper wrap. This is a really good hot spot. And then take a few wraps up the fly, you know, usually four to five to form a rib. Now that we have the body tied in, I'm going to take one peacock curl and just one and put it right at the top, tie it in and wrap it forward to form the thorax. To finish the fly off, I'm going to take my whip finisher and do a few whips right behind the bead. Just lock it in place and then I'm going to take my, my dubbing pick and just pick out that dummy. And be careful not to break your wire or your rib, but just pick it out lightly. And any loose wires I'll just pull back on the dubbing just to break off, but you want this all this nice dubbing to flow back on the fly. So there it is, the finished Don's Caddis Pupa. Now all Caddis Pupa look very similar. They have a very bright rib. This rib is perfect. It gleams in the sun. It's nice and green. Plus you get that nice orange butt at the bottom. And I find that orange butt is a nice hot spot on this fly. Deadly little Caddis Pupa. Make sure you have some in your fly bag.